I am going to talk about how to shop for a mortgage because it's not intuitive and it often is done in a way that puts people in worse situations than better. So the most important thing when comparing is that you're comparing apples to apples. How do you compare apples to apples with the mortgage? You make sure it is the same scenario and it's on the same day. Same scenario, here's an example. 500 purchase price, 400 loan amount, credit score 740, uh, conventional 30 or fixed. That's a scenario, right? You take that, you send it to the lenders that you are interested in working with and ask for a quote from them all on the same day. The reason it's important that it's on the same day is that rates change daily. So if it's not on the same day, you are no longer comparing apples to apples. That's the most important piece. From there, take your quotes, find somebody that knows and understands mortgage to help you analyze them. Some of the numbers are, compared, are important to compare. Some of them really aren't where we're all just estimating and are meaningless in a comparison. Okay, so analyze them properly, choose your lender, get pre-approved with that lender, and then stop shopping. That's also important. Once you're approved, you've chosen your lender, then focus on the house, focus on the purchase, focus on moving, all the other things, and you can let the shopping go because you know you're already done with that, okay? That, was, that is exactly what I think is most important. Within that, of course, listen to your gut. Who do you feel comfortable with? Who has a good reputation? Who's gonna close on time and communicate with you in a consistent and clear manner? Those are absolutely important and don't go with anybody that doesn't check that box. Okay, hope this is helpful, bye-bye.